the parade and stand the parade as he saw. Carry on. Then we proceed to the court order for the taking over, the handing over and the taking over. The brand new FCT commandant, Commandant Olushala Odumosu, the one I popularly of fond of referred to as Ulala, Ulala, Ulala. I wish you the best. God bless you all. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. As you proceed to inspect your main quarter guard, may I have your kind permission to stand on the parade, sir? Carry on. The incoming and the outgoing commandant is also
the Medi Monster Parade. Oh, 177 officers, 250 men on parade, ready for a wedding address, sir. May I have your kind permission to join the rest of the parade and stand the parade at this, sir? Permission granted. Kentucky! Thank you very much. Can we put our hands together for ourselves? The command to IC, the deputy commandants here present, assistant commandants, area commanders, divisional officers, officers and men of NSCDCF City Command, gentlemen of the press, highly respected gentlemen of the press, my family, I say a very good morning to every one of you. Today is a very historic day, a very symbolic one at that. The outgoing commandant, Dr. Peter S. Megiri, already said that, and he has addressed all of you. This is my maiden address to you as your commandant in the FCT command. I'm delighted to be here this morning, and I want to believe you are to see me. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Are you happy to see me? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. If you are sure, put your hands together for me. Let's see. I just want to be sure that we are all on the same page. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God Almighty, the giver of life, our Father, who has made today possible. It is not by power, nor by my might, that I'm standing before you today. Because the Bible says it's not of he that will it, nor he that run it, but God that showeth mercy. I have obtained mercy from God, and that is why I'm standing before you today. Secondly, I would like to thank very profoundly my father, my leader, my coach, my benefactor, the amiable third substantive commandant general of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Dr. Hamid Abubakar Haudi, the man who God has placed at the helm of affairs of NSCDC at this time. I want to thank him so very much for counting me worthy to lead you at this point in time. Can you appreciate my Commandant General? <laughs> Let me also thank the outgoing Commandant, Dr. Peter S. Megiri. He has been a father. We've known each other not today. And ever since the announcement have been, was, was made, we have been in touch with each other. And he opened up to me, gave me all the necessary advice I need to know, so that I can succeed. There's only somebody or a father who wants your progress that will do such a thing for you. Please let me appreciate Dr. Peter. <laughs> and also, I want to thank all of you for the warm reception. Even though there are no canopies everywhere, but at least from your faces I could tell that you're all happy to see me. And I must say, I am happy to be here as well. I'm only here to talk to you as my personnel that at this juncture, it is a new dawn in FCT Command. Hope you understand what I mean by that. And when I say a new dawn, I mean a new beginning for everything as far as our operation is concerned, our mandate is concerned, it is the beginning of hard work. For some of you that knows me before now, you know that I am one officer that have very serious passion for this job. 
I do this job like my life depends on it. You recall that when I was director of public relations, I was never relaxed one day. I worked day and night to ensure that the image of this call is promoted to the highest level. So if I could serve as an image maker of this call at the national headquarters, and now destiny has bestowed the leadership of FCT command upon me, definitely you know that I cannot afford to fail. My father, the Commandant General, has given me the mandate to rejig, to revamp, to reposition, restructure NSCDC FCT command. And failure is not in my DNA. And I'm not going to fail. And I want to believe that I have your support. Because no matter what capacity I have, no matter how good or what passion I have for this job, if I don't have your support, then I'm wasting my time. If I don't have your cooperation, then we cannot succeed. And that is why I want to use this medium to appeal to all of us here present to give me the necessary support. I am here to serve because I love this job. I am not here to witch hunt anybody. I am not here to destroy. I am here in peace. And I've come in peace and I hope that we will maintain this temple as we work together. I've had a lot of narratives about FCT Command. The good, the bad, the ugly. But as far as I'm concerned, that does not bother me. I don't listen to hearsays. I judge you by who you are. And I want to believe very profoundly that the officers and men of FCT Command are wonderful people. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Are you wonderful people? Yes, sir. So what that means is that I have your support. Yes, sir. Hundred percent? Yes, sir. Or ninety-nine percent? Hundred percent, sir. One brother, one sir. You know loyalty must be hundred. Yes, sir. Are we good to go? Yes, sir. Are we good to go? Put your hands together for yourself. See why we are here. I want all of you to take cognizance of the fact that FCT Command, by virtue of our location, is very central. In fact, we are the highs of the core. So much attention is focused on FCT and therefore we have to live up to expectation. Are we getting my point? Yes, we have to disappoint all the naysayers that says we cannot do better. So under my leadership, I want us to transform FCT command. Is that possible? Yes, I'm a son of my father. And you see how our leadership, the Commandant General, you see how he operates. We are going to work very assiduously. We are going to put in our best. And that is why I want to encourage you. For those of you who before now have lost hope on the job, for those of you who don't feel motivated before now, I want to tell you now that it is going to be different. I'm a very down to heart person, a hard worker. So if you want to work with me, you must be hard working. That is not to say we will not have time to relax and unwind and socialize. But then the mandate of the core is key in my mind and uppermost, and I hope to deliver with your support. 
And one of the things that is uppermost on my mind to tackle first and foremost, you will observe that in FCT Abuja, one of the prevalent crime that is very common is manhole theft. The mandate of NSCDC places us as the lead agency in protection of critical national assets and infrastructure. Now, when we occupy that space and we still have incidences of manhole theft, it means we are not living up to expectation. When you go around town, you see majority of the street lights have been vandalized. Even traffic lights are vandalized. So many infrastructure thefts in Abuja. This must stop. And what that means is that I'm joining the battle line. Hence, the vandals have refused to relent. We too, on our part, because we are saddled with that mandate, we will not relent until we put them where they belong. Are you sure we can achieve that? And what that means is that for every one of us, we must reset our mind. I want you to change your mindset. That you now have a leadership that will listen to you. For me, this is homecoming for me. I'm sure you know what I mean by that. A lot of us here, we know each other. So it's like homecoming for me. And I'm sure you know I cannot afford to fail. And I'm sure you don't want me to fail. So everybody, I want to charge you. You must be on your toes. We must send the right signals out there that NSCDC have come to stay. We must justify our existence. We must carry out our mandate and accomplish it to the letter. The Department of Critical National Assets and Infrastructure, you have so much work to do. Operations, you have a lot of work to do. And every other appendage of NSCDC City Command. I'm going to declare war on vandals and manhole thieves in Abuja. I'm going to tell them that truly, we are the lead agency in protection of critical national assets. So I want to charge you to be committed, to rededicate yourself to the service of our fatherland. And then, not forgetting discipline. Discipline is very key, very important. By virtue of my position as the Director of Public Relations, I'm privileged to have a lot of information about our activities. I want to plead with you. We have to reinforce discipline within FCT Command. So if you are part of us, if you want to join the winning train, you must recommit yourself. You must rededicate yourself. You must be disciplined. Discipline must be our watchword. Are you getting my point? What did I say? I can't hear you. Discipline must be our watchword. We are civil defenders. So everything you do must showcase your civility. When it comes to the issue of accomplishment of our mandate, and you start to behave like a masquerade, it's understandable because now you have a mission, you have a job to do. 
But aside from when you're on duty and the exigency of your work calls for you to take some actions, then we should be civil in our manner of approach to the people. NSCDC is one organization that has enjoyed social acceptability amongst the people. And that is one of the comparative advantage we have. Unlike other services, we're not living in the barracks. So we have access to the people. What are people saying about us? What is the general opinion about NSCDC? Under my leadership, every one of you is an ambassador of the core. Did you hear me? Every one of you is a public relations officer of the core. Do you understand what that means? Wherever you find yourself, you will represent the image of NSCDC well. Did you hear me? One of the things I will have issues with is any act on becoming of a civil defender. When you go out there to embarrass the core, I will not take that from you. Your manner of approach is very important. Don't bring shame to the name of the core, please. I beg of you. What did I say? Please. On that note, I want to thank you all so that I don't keep you standing for too long. Um, time to time, we will be interacting with each other. I'm going to run an open door policy. I'm welcome to new ideas, innovative ideas that can push us forward. I know we are blessed with crop of officers who are talented, who are intelligent, who are innovative. So any good idea that you have that can take us to our promised land, please feel free to bring it on. As long as it's a good idea, I am for you. Let us continue to love one another above all. I have come to make all things well. I have come to right any wrong that may be existing. I have come to make you enjoy being a civil defender at FCT Command. We are going to have it differently this time around. I'm going to carry everybody along. I will ensure there is no gap between my office and the most junior officer in this command. For me, everybody is important. Every one of you are important to me and you are all very special. I want to encourage you to change your mindset, renew your mindset, work with me, cooperate with me, don't hate me for no reason. I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Yes, Let us work together. Let us achieve together. If I succeed, you succeed. If I fail, you have all failed. Do you want failure to be in our scorecard? No. no. And I'm sure I have your support. Yes, I want to thank you on that note for being here, being there, for being yourself, for loving the core, and for your promise of support. I also promise that I will not disappoint you. If you promise me your support, if you're ready to work with me, I'm ready to work with you. If you're not ready to work with me, I would not be ready to work with you. I'll look at your body language and that is what will determine my posture in this command. I want to thank you all for your time. I want to thank the members of the press 
for always being there for me. Please, can we appreciate the press for me, please? Special grace of God, my tenure is going to be fruitful. Yeah. We are all going to enjoy my tenure. Yeah. For those of you that knows me, I'm a very down-to-heart person. I don't have any problem. The only problem I'm going to have with you is when it comes to your job. Go and ask those that were in my office in public relations. The only time I fight them is when there is work to be done and they don't deliver because I'm not a failure. So if you want me to fight you, don't do your job. But if you want to be my friend, be productive. Put in your best. Whatever responsibility that is given unto you, it's not difficult. You should make a statement by the office you occupy, by delivering on the mandate that has been given to you. I know for us as human beings, we can make mistakes. But then, with God on our side, we will be victorious. We shall achieve. And we shall send the right signals to the headquarters that F-City Command is now different. I want to be proud to tell the Commandant General that my men and officers are committed, are disciplined, and they are ready to work. So for all the vandals and manhole thieves out there, the vandals of our critical national assets, given untold hardship to government, I want to say that your time is up because FCT command under my leadership will put you in your place. So they either relocate or re-strategize because we will not take it lightly. We are not going to rest on our horse until we have sanitized FCT command. We have sanitized the FCT as the seat of power. Sanitize it of criminality, of any economic saboteur who wants to truncate the good policies and program of Mr. President. On that note, I want to thank every one of you with an assurance of your support and cooperation. I hope we will do well by the special grace of God. I thank, thank you all. You. Return! Give CD an extra moment. Sir, at the end of your mailing address, may I have your kind permission to carry out the rest of the parade, sir? Granted.